Hey YouTube, this is Heather Prepper One. You've seen the video of the bike inner tubes where I could get them by the hundreds uh, from a bike shop, big bike shop. So I did get some. And then you saw, I did a video a while ago on the tubes. These are tubes that have metal come on them and they run them through a machine and then they make different things for metal roofs. Uh, they also have the big ones that are like three, three and a half foot tall. That's the actual metal roofing and they run it through the machine and then it puts the uh, corrugation into it. So I get them for free. I need to stop back in there and get another big load. So uh, a million people said, you know, all kinds of good uses for them. So the one on the right is a uh, compost. I put it next to the house because that way we don't have to go far and then you're more inclined to throw the compost in the compost bin than if you had to walk far if it's just a little bit now granted we don't have much compost because we have two pigs we have 50 chickens um, a lot of that stuff is used up the one on the left we're gonna grow potatoes uh, I don't know how long these things are gonna last outside no idea. Are they going to last one season? Probably. They're very thick. And I'll show them to you. You've seen them before. Pretty thick. But the inner tubes come in handy because now I can try to get the potatoes a little bit warmer because I'm going to plant them as soon as I can. You can use it for a mini greenhouse. Uh, it definitely does much better with the plastic on it. You can feel the difference. Today's like 40 some degrees, uh, but I had this in the sun and definitely a lot warmer underneath it. So you can also control the amount of rain that comes in this. We get sometimes three and four inches of rain at a time, so I can definitely cover it up, uh, limit the amount of rain getting to it. A lot of places, you guys would love to have three or four inches of rain. Um, so many uses. I think this one right here, let's hypothetically say you want to start a garden and you have a spot, but you don't have a ton of money to put into adding good soil to it, or you don't have time to compost. Um, definitely stop and see if you can get some of these from companies they're all over and they'll give them to you for free because they throw them away and it costs them money that way let's say you get five six ten of these put them in the area where you want your garden to be now you don't have enough money to buy good topsoil or good soil so just put these down fill them up with the best soil you can find and then use it for this spring and summer growing season when it's done the cardboard's probably going to be shot just pull the cardboard up, spread all of that dirt around, uh, and then the next year you'll have a bigger spot. So that's what I'm planning to do. Um, if you have where you can get these inner tubes, go to the bike shops. They throw them away usually. Look for any size. Like this one fits perfectly. It just fit right on there. But if it's too uh, big, which a lot of them are, just put a knot in it. Tie it and make it smaller this compost I can control the amount of moisture that goes into it I leave the top off um, but that inner tube does a few things it holds that uh, rubber mat old rubber mat on it you can use anything just use your imagination don't buy it try to scrounge it but what happens is now I can lift this up throw my stuff in there and let it go back down walk away and I know I don't have to have a you know put my stuff down use two hands put a rock on top of that thing no so that inner tube holds it down so I will tell you what this was all salvage material the plastic came from the greenhouse that we took down many 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 years ago so it's great it lets light through uh, if you can't have this just clear plastic will work anything uh, just to get that thing warmer let's say you're going through the season you're near the end but you're tubes are falling apart and this is going to be a test I've never done this before I don't know how long this tube is going to last if you have three or four of these rubber bands uh, as in sense tires just put a, another one here another one here another one here and that will definitely extend your life out of that uh, cardboard tube so this is what we're doing uh, easier to compost uh, good experiment going to happen very soon when we put potatoes in there I'll have about 20 of these and I will um, do different things I have rabbit and cow manure pig manure I got chicken manure I got turkey manure so I'll be right in on the outside of the tube and that is awesome just take you a sharpie and write on the tube what you put in there uh, and that way you can keep track uh, put the data that that you put it in the ground uh, so you have everything right there you can just look at it and a sharpie should last the whole season no problem on the cardboard so 
Uh, a lot of people say, man, I got no money to prep. You don't have to have any money to prep. This was absolutely free. Uh, just salvaging, keeping your eyes open, thinking outside the box. Uh, there's going to be a lot of preppers that think they're going to survive because they have hundreds of thousands of dollars invested in preps, but they can't think outside the box. They don't have practical skills. So if you don't have a thousands of dollars, you better have a sharp mind and be able to think outside the box and improvise what you're going to need. Thanks for watching.